Hey YouTubers, uh, Pastor Brian here. I'm here to uh, show you guys um, how to take a rear bumper off of a 2022 Mercedes-Benz GLS 450. Okay, um, this is a little bit different and tricky on this model. Um, and so as you know, on this channel, I'm trying to uh, do my part to give you guys tips and tricks on uh, some of these German cars, okay? And other, and other weird things too, you know, sometimes it's a Subaru, whatever. So uh, let me see if I can flip this around and let's get right to it and make it snappy. So check this out. Uh, the way that this came up, now I took this bracket off right here, okay? So um, just so you know, let's look at the other side. This is what the bracket looks like underneath, all right? So you'd think that this just pops off like a regular plastic bumper and all the tabs pop out. It's not quite that easy. First, you gotta um, release these tabs, okay? And actually it's a little bit trickier than that because you can't go for these tabs first. You have to go for these inner ones and you have to pull away to, to unlock this these inner edges, okay? Let me see if I can get a shot of it right there. Well, let's look at the one that's damaged anyway. Um, where is it? Here we go. So this is on the other side. See those things right there? These things, they lock over. So first pull those away. And then um, you can get backside access to like the, the bottom one and push and kind of release that one. But the other ones are really difficult to get to, okay? So I tried just pulling towards me and I always use soapy water. I get hand soap and I, uh, I, I, I actually mix a thing of hand soap here. And uh, it's got like, I, I put like seven pumps of dial hand soap in this thing, okay? And I just, every time I'm trying to do something like to release something or maybe put a clip in i'm hosing these clips down and everything okay got to get all the clips out now um there's a couple of clips that are hard to get to and uh well actually the ones in the wheelhouse are hard to get to and then there's a secret one that's like right in here okay now uh the way that i took this bumper off it, to, just to get right to some of the tricky stuff is check this out okay Inside you're gonna have to go from underneath and then take out this clip and pop it up and just take it out. Okay uh, Then after you're done with that, then you can start unplugging uh, some of these plugs. Okay this plug and then let me think there's like one more Going down to this unit. This is the bottom of the cover Okay, and so you can release both of these this one right here goes to the if your vehicle is equipped with it it goes to the hands-free lift gate function okay and i always check that out first before i um i make sure it's it's operating correctly before i start taking things apart okay so um i, I disconnected that from underneath that was easy um but once you get these like i said that that secret hidden uh clip once you take that out because it connects both the top and bottom cover then what i found was really really nice was this bottom cover i was able to actually pop that out i didn't take it off all the way at first event eventually i did though before i took the top cover off but uh, i popped this out and on this side on the left side the driver's side by popping this out it gave me more access to the two plugs that were hidden like right up in here okay and uh those plugs are right here and that these two um, is what disconnects you from the quarter panel, okay? And then you're good to go, because this is, you know, connecting your sensors and everything else. Uh, your park sensors, okay? Your sonar sensors. So, um, now with this cover, we're probably not going to be repairing this one as a side note, because I got to check and see how many layers of paint it's allowed to have, what's the thickness it's allowed to have, because this has blind spot monitors, okay? So, um, here at Mercedes-Benz, we're not going to be, uh, we're, we're going to do things by the book, Okay. Um, so I do work for Mercedes-Benz. So uh, anyway, so uh, I haven't disassembled the rest of this bumper. Um, I could get schematics on it, but uh, I, I try not to until I get to a point where I'm really stuck, okay? Um, and, and if I can't see behind something. But let's get back to this real quick and talk about something because I took that lower cover off first for a reason, all right? And the reason I took that lower cover off let me show you here is because of these center tabs all right now with that lower cover off i was able to just lay down and take just the i took like a 
I actually took an o-ring remover so it had a soft edge and I just pushed up on each of the tabs from the upper cover and I, I just slowly just released each one and it came out nice now I actually had the sides uh, popped out they were already free first before doing that I left that last all right uh, I usually do so um, but when I did these this was kind of tight you know it's a mercedes-benz it's super tight and I was thinking okay I'm gonna have to take off the tail lamp you know uh, so I didn't have to but I did have to take off these covers oops is that the right side yeah I had to take off these covers okay and the way that these come off is super easy I can I can see you know there's things that will show me uh, indications that some things will come apart that they're not part of a headlamp or a tail lamp for example this um, ha this one has this rubber edge and I was that told me right there I was like oh that's not part of the tail lamp so this thing's gonna come out and it has these easy clips they just pop right out I actually took it out by hand so I released this side I started pulling it out and then pulled this away popped right out okay now what that gave me was access down here where the upper cover was popped in that was the tightest spot and you'll see the tab sticking out the back so like I said I used my soapy water I hosed it in there but what I had to do was there was there was like um, if I remember correctly three tabs on here which we can take a look at in a second this one over here popped out easy this one was like a medium tightness it wasn't that bad and then this one was super tight and what I had to use was um, I had to use this, okay? And this worked out very nicely. So I got this in here, and while I was pulling, I can't show you because I'm holding the camera here with this hand, but I shoved this in and I, I gave it a little bit of upward pressure without affecting the tail lamp. And then that allowed me to scoot that thing out with the soapy water helping me, all right? Then this one, um, actually on this side, I did end up using um, my O-ring remover, like I was saying, and wh what I mean by that is uh, this is the o-ring remover that I that I use. I'll use one of these tools, okay? has a nice blunt edge. Um, sorry, it's not focusing here. Uh, and any, oh, Come on, camera. Really? So, I don't know. It's a Samsung. There we go. Uh, get a set of these if you don't have one. These are great. They, they really save you if something slips, okay? So, anyway, I got this one in here. And I, I did not mar the bumper because I got it right in the right spot. And then that released the pressure a little bit, popped that side out. With the other side, I wanted to try something different. So I, tr I just used my, my plastic non-marring tool, okay? These are great. You can get them at Harbor Freight, all right? So on this side, I got this side released and everything. And then I got this last tab right here. And I just got this right in between the plastic. See underneath there? Just like that. And once I got that in there... With the bumper cover on then i just got a little bit of pressure and pulled it out okay super easy so actually it wasn't too bad um i'm trying to remember there was oh there was something else there was another hidden bolt that you guys need to know about once you pull those wheel opening moldings away okay there is a bolt that comes through let me see if i can find it here okay it mounts it mounts inside of this bracket right in there now let me show you on the one that's on the vehicle okay check this out it's an eight millimeter so you have to come in in through the wheelhouse all right and you have to pull the liner away you have those clips removed already and man i don't know if you could see it but it's like straight back there okay it is there it is yep straight back there so uh, I used a, a, a small like three inch extension and I used a magnetic socket. You can also get those at Harbor Freight or on uh, Amazon, okay? Actually, I think Harbor Freight only has the SAE, so you need metric. So um, the rest of this wheel opening molding though, see on this side, I'm leaving this on. I was able to pull it away enough where I didn't affect the two-sided tape. I didn't have to pop those out. I just got it on the last tab and I worked from the back side with my plastic tool and I popped the bumper out away and popped and then it just worked it out it was super easy okay um i don't think i'm missing anything unfortunately this video ended up being 10 minutes even though i'm trying to move along quickly here um the rest of it is super obvious i just showed you all the tricky stuff i mean just take all the bolts out of the bottom the clips out of the bottom and you're going to be good to go okay uh once again um 
I want to reiterate on this channel, see if this will flip around again, to uh, believe the gospel which um, by which you are saved. And the gospel is that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he was he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Um, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 15, uh, verses 1 through 4. So uh, believe the gospel for your salvation. God bless you guys. Bye.